Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Tripola, T-R-I-P-O-L-A-R, and welcome back to a brand new episode of How to Super Mario! A series in which we build things and change things in the Super Mario world and show you how to do them. So we change them into different characters, pretty much. But guys, if you're new to the series, make sure you go down below and smash that like button. Let's try to get over 500 likes on today's episode, and... Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and comment down below what you would like us to build next. But like uh, we always do, we have we are adding someone to the garden today. And today, we are adding Jakari, who I've been talking to a lot on Twitter, him and his mom. And he has made some awesome things. And I think one of the best things he made was the propeller toad. But he made a whole bunch of them, and he's been sending me to them. So great job, Jakari. Very, very proud of you. You made some awesome work. And welcome to my garden. You guys might be thinking, how can I? get into your garden tripolar all you have to do is be a subscriber leave a like on this video and either message me via twitter or instagram pictures of what you've built and what you've changed inside the super mario bros world if you do that you have a chance to be inside the garden it's really that simple and today we are being joined by adam and nick well pretty small crew but today we are doing something for the first time in a different location so let us go there now and show you what we're going to do today. It should be quite evil expedition. We are going to encounter the evil, evil, e Okay, I, I don't really know what else to say. That's why I'm just saying that. Woo! Okay, we are going to be doing... No, not Bullet Bill. That will be a future episode. No, not Bowser. That might also be a future episode, probably. We will be doing dry bones and we will be switching dry bones into dark dry bones <laughs> now this is actually a quite simple one so we're going to be doing it together oh, guys i can't wait to do this together with you so to start off at the bottom guys right here we'll be doing this together the shoes the bottom of the shoes need to be orange wool and the the shoes have to be nether brick so i will start changing uh the shoes to nether brick if someone wants to do the bottom and uh change them to orange wool uh so let's do basically what you see as the ice that needs to be um the nether brick so uh this is going to be dark dry bones which is a really cool character and then, uh, let me just tell you a quick little story so last night i was hanging out with my friends over from cover fire you guys know them if you saw my you know 30,000 subscriber special so i was hanging out with them they're my good friends and we had a super smash oh no i'm not super smash super mario sluggers tournament it was literally the funnest thing in the world we played super mario sluggers and basically, guys, me and my friend Matt came in first place. That's right. We won. It was basically a three-game series. We and uh, we won the first game nine to four. In the second game, we got shut out six nothing. It was really embarrassing. Then uh, somehow, in the last game, we could not score a run. It was two nothing like the entire game. Finally, we had a run where we scored like four. Uh, an inning where we scored four runs. The next thing we scored three. We eventually beat them in the championship seven to. To two it was absolutely amazing guys it was a really really good time um I, I cannot wait for the nintendo switch to come out so we could do more games like that like mario kart and uh i hope they one day make a new mario sluggers because literally that game was the goat that game is literally one of my favorite mario games ever to come out super mario sluggers what's your guys ever favorite mario game ever like over our sports games, it could be those you know, strikers charged, it could be anything. What is your favorite Mario game that's ever come out? Let me know in the comment section below. That's a quick little story. And if you guys want to know who was on my team, I actually remember, just so you know how you have the best combo. In center field, I had the one and only Funky Kong. Uh, you really need that chemistry in center field. So I had Funky Kong, I had Baby DK uh, in right, and I in left. I had Donkey Kong. And you guys can also tell me, what would your, be your dream team uh, on this? Uh, pitching, I had, the, dude, the beast from the east, Tripolar himself. PD Piranha was pitching. Behind the plate, I had a critter from Donkey Kong Country. Um, at first base was Bowser Jr. Second base was Drybones. Third base, 
I mean, I mean, shortstop. Who the heck was shortstop? I don't remember. Oh, the shortstop was Hammer Bro. No, not Hammer Bro. It was Fire Bro. Fire Bro was at shortstop, and then third base was Bowser, the team captain. We were the Bowser monsters. All right, guys. The next thing we have to do is change his ice gloves to Nether Brick while we're at it, just because we're like right here. So make sure you're replacing the blocks. Um, exactly. Make sure you're not. See, I just filled in a block over here that wasn't supposed to be filled in. Make sure you're doing it exactly. But yeah, that was my team. It was really, really beast. Um, literally, I don't even know how, like, we draft teams, we don't just pick, because it's sort of like a fair, so we go back and forth, and like, you know, I pick this character, you pick that character, um, so yeah, that's sort of how we do it, uh, so, it, it's, it's, that way it's fair, you know, it's fair, it's a nice fair draft, um, and yeah, that is basically what we did, and I want to get that game, I don't know, it, it, can you play that game on the Wii U, does Wii U, can someone tell me, does Wii U have backwards compatibility, where you could play Wii games on it, does anyone know, hello, anyone, Nick, do you know, Nick? Uh, okay, you can play Wii. I actually might have to get that game then, because that was literally so much fun last night. I had a beast, beast time. Anyway, what we have to do next, guys, is take um oak planks, oak planks, and we have to replace his rib cage, which is basically this white right here. Um, we have to replace the entire uh, like white portion of it. So whatever you see as white wood, replace it with oak planks. All right, and we will say, uh oh, I'm like destroying things. Uh oh, folks. Uh oh, folks. Wait, I think we have to wait. We have to replace that anyway, so we should be fine. So whatever you see is um this white, not the wool, not the wool. Do not replace the wool, because that's for the shell. Just the oak planks, uh, replace. So there's like so that's all like mixed around like crazy. So this is actually gonna be like kind of hard to do. I think Nick's working on the bottom right now, which is probably for the best whoa i could see the inside of his shell that's really weird uh oh i can't wait i can't reach i can't reach this block i can't reach this block uh, there we go okay and then we can put these two back boom wait boom boom there we go boom boom <laughs> shout out to aj uh anyway <laughs> oh, yeah attaboy nick i mean uh adam adam's getting all those blocks in there really good um we get this over here there we go, and I will get this over here. Oh, gotta replace that one down there. Uh, hopefully, I'm doing this right. That would be kind of bad if I wasn't doing this right. But yeah, what other games do I enjoy playing? Um, Mario, Super Mario, my favorite Mario Kart. I love. I'm a big Mario Kart fan. It was Double Dash. I beat it in one week. Double Dash. Really, I, it was. It was one of my proudest accomplishments as a kid. Was I beat Double Dash in a week? Um, I never. I will never forget this as long as I live. I could not defeat Rainbow Road. Like, you guys know what Rainbow Road is. It's literally the hardest track in the entire freaking world. On 150cc mirror, which means you're going backwards. Literally the hardest thing I've ever had to do. And I somehow... Okay, guys, that's actually really, looking really good. I somehow beat it. Oh, no, I finally beat it. I still remember who I used. I used Toad and Baby Mario. And I finally beat that map. Literally the best day of my life. Literally the best day of my life. All right, guys, basically everything else, like his head, except for his shell, which is going to be kind of hard. You guys can sort of see where his shell is on the back, so don't touch his shell, but everything else we have to make um dark gray wool. Or gray wool, not um, not dark, not dark gray. Just gray wool. So I'm going to do his tail right now. Uh so make sure you're not doing his um his shell. Just make sure you're doing like his arms, his ankles, Basically everything like that. Make sure you are not doing his uh, his sh shell because that would be bad, and I don't want that to happen because then I would fire you and you wouldn't work for me. But yeah, hundred uh, that was the best Mario Kart. I still remember as a kid, uh, even playing Mario Kart DS uh, with my friends in like restaurants. Like we would go out to eat with our parents, and we'd be like, "Oh, we're so bored," so we'd all bring our DSs and play Balloon Battle. Like, some of my favorite memories as a kid was Nintendo. Of course, like, Pokemon, Sun and Moon just came out. Let me know if you got Sun or Moon, uh, like, which one you actually did end up buying. Uh, that would be really cool if you would let me know that. Um, so I could sort of know, are you a Sunner or are you a Mooner? You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah. If you guys want to know who my favorite Pokemon is, very easy. It's Trico. Trico from the, you know, Ruby and Sapphire editions of the game. Literally the best Pokemon. I would say that was my favorite version of the game. So I would say either that or, uh, 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 Nick, uh, Adam, Adam, you're doing the shell. I told you don't do the shell. You Dumbo, he did the shell. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so all has to be. Uh, you have to put it back to white. You did the shell. 
Did Nick, is Nick doing the shell? Nick's also doing the shell. He also. All right, at least you guys both messed up at once. So guys, just replace that. Be, I told you be careful because I was like it mends together well since Drybone's actually white. But yeah, Trico and Blaziken. Blaziken was the uh, final evolution of Torchic. Best characters in the game. Mudkip. I mean, that was just the best version of the game, to be honest, in my opinion. Let me know what your favorite. You guys are probably younger, so it's probably like X and Y or like Omega and Alpha. Or I don't, I don't even know what the games are anymore. I really don't play Pokemon that much anymore. But I do remember those editions of the game uh, that I, I played. Those were the best. Either that or Leaf Green and Fire Red. Pretty fantastic games. Um, I'll tell you guys a quick story. This is actually like a, one of my infamous stories. So one time I was on a boat, yes, I was on a boat, uh, playing Pokemon um, r uh, Fire Red. And if you guys have ever played it, there's a point in the game where you have to capture Snorlax. Or you get the Snorlax in the, in the, in the middle of the, the pack, and it's really hard to capture him. You have to fight him, and usually most people just kill him because it's actually hard to capture a Snorlax, right? So basically I was sitting there. And I did it, guys. I, I I captured the Snorlax. I got so excited. I got so excited that I captured the Snorlax that I literally threw my Game Boy Advanced off the boat and into the water. I was so upset. I cried forever and ever. But I did end up getting the Nintendo DS like the next day because my parents felt like really bad for me and I was like a really young kid. So uh, they got me the Nintendo DS the, the DS the next game and I was really excited about that obviously. And uh, I got Mar Super Mario 64. But nonetheless, I was so sad um, to actually lose that. Super Mario 64 for the I mean DS edition was actually a fantastic game as well. Like literally all these games were just so good. Oh, I miss them. I miss them so much. I miss them. I miss all these games. Uh oh, folks, we're going into an autosave. We are going into an autosave, baby. Yes, so we're going to continue working on this after that autosave. But yes, that is my my Pokemon story. And uh, Pokemon's just not been the same since. It was very tra traumatizing, actually, to lose my Game Boy Advance. <gasps> Rest in peace, Game Boy. Rest in peace. You will be missed, buddy. You will be missed. All right, anyway. So, uh, we're, we're kind of grinding this out right here. Pretty much uh, everything else we have to do is just replacing uh, this stupid wool, which I actually hate replacing things. Literally the worst job in the world uh, to just sit here and replace because it's just so boring. It's just so, it's so boring. It's just so boring. And I think Nick is, like, off right now. I, I think he had to go somewhere. So, I think it's just me and Adam doing it, which does not help it at all whatsoever but yeah this was sort of like a tripolar blast from the past kind of day we sort you guys got to learn about my favorite games and you got to learn about what i like and what my favorite games are and you got to hear a little bit about my life i know so exciting folks i literally have the most exciting life ever psych i don't but anyway um if you guys haven't checked it out already there's this guy named uh pints of milk or pint of milk uh you can go check out the super mario series uh Koopling's victory um, and I actually have it in the description of that video, and he made me a song, guys, like, this kid actually made me a song, um, and you guys might know him soon, I think we're adding him to the grouplings, or we're gonna try him out for the grouplings, but he made me a song, it's really so cool, like, I, I never thought that someone would actually make me a song, and it's, like, a good song, too, like, um, I don't know, it's really cool, go check it out, go leave a like, the kid deserves some love, so, uh, yeah, just go check it out, and, uh, yeah, um, just go give him some love, because he worked really hard on that song, and, uh, he deserves some credit for it, because he, I mean, I loved it, I thought the song was absolutely awesome, the fact that someone made me a song was really crazy, I thought, um, but yeah, so, uh, that's basically it, alright guys, so we're gonna actually try to finish this up, and then when we do, we will come back and show you the final product all right guys so behind me we have the finished product of dark dry bones he actually looks really really good i actually really like him i didn't really get to even look at him before we started doing this but he looks really really cool so there you go guys dark dry bones if you want to make them yourself that's how you do it um so yeah guys if you enjoyed this episode make sure you go down below and smash that like button if you guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe and we will see you guys in the next one make sure to comment down below what you guys want to see next and we will see you guys in the next one Peace. Out. Bye.